In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to password protect a Google Sites website, ensuring only those with the password can access certain areas of your site, giving you control over who can view your content. We'll guide you through each step with clarity and ease, so you'll have everything set up within a few minutes. Let's get started. First, you want to open up Google Forms. From your Google account, navigate to Google Forms and click on the blank form option to create a new form from scratch. This form will serve as your login interface, so the first thing we're going to do is name it Login. This will help you keep things organized and easily accessible later on. Next, let's change the form's default question to password. We'll use this to prompt users to enter the password before accessing your site. For the question type, you'll initially see it set to multiple choice. We want to change this to short answer instead, as the password input needs to be a text-based response. Look for the three vertical dots next to the question, click on that, and select response validation. This ensures that users can't submit the form without entering the correct password. Select required to make sure the question must be answered before submission. Under the response validation settings, switch from number to text for the validation type. In the provided field, type in the password that you want users to enter. Be sure to choose a strong password that's not easily guessable. You also have the option to type a custom error message that will appear if someone enters the wrong password. This can be something like, incorrect password, please try again. Moving forward, click on settings in the top right. Here, go to presentation and look for the confirmation message section. Click on it to edit. This message is what users will see once they've entered the correct password and successfully logged in. Type a welcoming or informative message for your visitors. Finally, click on publish to make your form live. It's good practice to verify everything is set correctly by viewing your form in preview mode to ensure the password entry functions as intended. With the form ready, let's transition over to your Google Sites. Open up your site and in the menu, click on pages. You'll want to add a new page where users will be prompted to log in. Click on the plus icon to create a new page and aptly name it something like Members Login. With the new page ready, click on Insert from the right hand menu, then choose Forms. You'll see a list of your forms appear, so select the login form you just created. After selecting it, click Insert to add the form to your page. And there you have it, your Google Sites page is now password protected. Remember to save your changes and preview the site to see everything in action. It's that simple. Now you can confidently control who gets access to certain content on your site. Thanks for watching and don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions. See you next time.